How's everyone? My name is Nick Tisman and welcome back to Rockway! That's the weirdest looking cat I've ever seen. Bigger combs are always rough and obviously. I'm not ready for that yet, so I just hang out with cats. <coughs> is that a mini Morty or... Oh, that's... That's a pig! Okay! What is my life? You come to beat me, rocks or truffles! I wonder if he would follow us if we used the truffle lug perfume. Uh, wait, do I do that from here or? Ah! Why you smell like truffle? I follow you. Yeah, now we got a pink friend. Hang on. Yeah! Nah, we, they have the repellent now, so there'd be no point. Wait. Oh no, I need, uh, I need an axe. Bruh, a bathroom! Ah, a bathroom is everywhere! Wait, is that why he was, he had a bad attitude? Whoa, something feels. Whoa, something feels. Different. Okay, attitude. Onion. Feels suddenly. Happy. Thanks for clearing the air in here. No problem. Biggie! Sorry. Oh, we got dirt for you. That's my ruby nose deceived me. My fragrance. Beat, beat thou, carriest the tastiest and most coveted dirt in all the forest! Sure. Oh, wonder of wonders, I thank thee for thine gift! Fare thee well, my friends! Yay! Happy, happy foot! Happy feet! I wonder if anyone's gonna get sued over that. I doubt it. Hello! Ugh! Go away, pig! I'm so relieved we have repellent on! Let us drink our mud in peace! My turtle smells so bad! Poor piggy! Pig! I'm down, we have repellent on, remember? Oh, right! My turtle smells so bad! Don't step on my troop! Sorry. Okay. We got rock here. Rocks! Well, that just happened. Oh, yum! No truffles. Or truffle no for dessert. Aww. Well, goodbye, piggy friend. Love you. Ha! Ah, because that big really finally ate the rocks blocking our door. Someone needs to tell those golems to go rough out somewhere else. Ugh, golems, am I right? Put the wrong blow shit. Pull the lever, Krug! Wrong lever! What is wrong with me? To with the um, uh... Anyways, I need to get an apple from the tree, then I can rock it out of here. Bedrooms! Bedrooms! Bedroom! Oh wow, I'm so beautiful! My feet tell me that you helped all of them! Because you gave them sun, water, and dirt, I was able to grow up into a full tree! Thank you! For your help! We hope you have better help! Oh, that was tip all they get to toad now. I just went for it. There to say thank you, I want you have out of my fruit! Yay! I gotta find out all the rest of the, the bathrooms. Don't know what will happen if I step on them, but I might as well try it. 
Bedroom! Remember, step on bathrooms, don't step on rat rooms. Rat rooms are awesome. Alright. There has to be something for him once I get rid of all these bedrooms. I like the music in this game, it's really nice. Especially the happy music. Uh, check the lower level, I guess. Make sure we step out all the badness. All the badness in life. So it is highly likely that this is real because Jackie did mention a bunch of weird stuff happening in the hospital. I don't know. It is completely within the realm of reason that this is all just make believe. Why is there still a creepy heartbeat here? That's what I want to know. The envoy are gone. Why is there a lever to get like a pad down there? I have to go through the creepy heartbeat hole again. But why is it in my left ear specifically? When I want to know, is that where the heart typically is? I don't know. I've been searching for my friend for so long, I don't even remember where we used to meet. I have to find her. Poor Sue. You have a hard life in both worlds. You don't understand that right now, but eh, well. She's not in the hospital. I got an apple for you, Patty. I smell Silla apple. Thank you, oh boy. I feel so better, so different now. It's like I have so much more energy. Woohoo! Uh, Black Big Brothers uh, completely different color when he's fall. Yep. Andy phase. Bedroom! Yeah, probably the prize goes from in here. We're talking 1,000 watts, 90 second intervals. I can bench like five times my own weight. That closure was so annoying. Like no one, like no one cares how many reps you do, you do, or how many dead plant that shakes you drink up. Yay! Great. Great job. I was half expecting this to have a bit more um, voice acting because of um, the trailers. But whatever. You drained the lake? Please bring me my tools and I'll be near that bamboo for you. Alright, well, I'll check um, over here. Okay, can't step on the movie pads. Now 10 feet. Why would you be able to stand over here? I don't know. I don't know. Like, what's the point of that? Oh, please don't require a key. Time to lock this tools. Yay! We just keep the axe, because there's a lot of bamboo I want to cut down. Oh, my wonderful tools! Get black back to this tool. Thank you so much. That was promised I'll clear the path from Morizor's Grove. 
there you go. Oh, better get back to my shop. Thanks for everything. Oh, one more thing. If you visit my shop, I can build you some tools of your own. It doesn't take me a little time to get everything up and ready to go again, though. Why don't you come back once you you're done talking more Zora? Hopefully, I'll be ready by then. Good luck! Okay, so once I'm done talking to Mori Zora, I'll be able to uh, get tools to cut down bamboo. Okay, bud. How's it going, buddy? I recommend against going down this path for the time being. There are so far too many envoys beyond this point. Okay. Mori Zora? Envoy? Morizora! Beyond the envoy! Ooh. Looks like we have visitors. Hmm. I do not recognize their kind at all. I don't think they're from Morizora's forest. Uh, we have the Silver King of Ravikuin, Nimrakuin. Hmm. Definitely not from around here. Definitely not. It's been many years since we've had visitors such as these. Come here, young boy. What brings you to the Keeper's Grove? I want to ask Morty Zora if he would grant me a wish. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Sorry, but Morizora has been sleeping for a while now. Oh. Do you know when he's going to wake up? My boy, this is not an ordinary slumber. Darkness has fallen over Morizora's lands and over him as well. A darkness? You see, we have... This is a song that plays um, on the main screen. This is... I love this song. It's beautiful. I wish I knew what they were saying. We have long shared this world with the envoy. They are spirits between this realm and the next. Typically peaceful, merely passing through. However, lately, more and more of them have become overrun with negative energy. Anger, fear, hatred. The whole fat forest can feel it. Mordizorda sleeps and darkness subsumes his land. Subsumes. We are all are in danger. This is terrible. We have to do something. Let me try to wake him up for you. <laughs> My boy, Morizora cannot be awoken by just any means. The darkness has consumed him, caused him to fall into slumber. The only thing that can awaken him is for a very special song. A song that we call Mori no Kokoro. Can you teach it to me? No, my child, I cannot. But that's not to say that you can't learn it. But is, is the song that, that's playing now going to be... Mori no Kokoro, I think it was? Kokoro? Uh, when you can hear things that are too quiet for the ears. The fear and longing. The hopes and dreams of those around you. Then you can wake him. I'm sorry, but I don't understand. Look around us. Do you see the stones with different markings? Yeah. Yes. Each one represents a voice that is calling out for your help right now. The man who's connected with his wife has been severed. Quinsick. The woman who prepares to lose that which is the most dear to her. First lose that would... Would that be mom? Seek them out along with the rest who call out to you. If you help them, they will teach you what you seek to learn. Is that one over there? Yes? Listen. My wife's been asleep for months now. Something tells me that's a good place to start. Good luck, young one. Turn to us if you need any help. So I need to help Winston. Right. Because... Oh, in your slumber. So, 
that's that for you. Huh. Okay, Sue. I miss my friend so much. If she was here, we'd go up there together. And Sue in this world is also looking for a friend. Okay. I just want to make sure I can say things I need to say before it's too late. He's a burro. No! I'm sure mom's gonna be one of them. Because it figures when I run business, no one shows up. The reason why... Okay. I, I think I get what's going on now, because... Like, things in the... From the Steam store... I mean, it, it sounds like... Things aren't going well for the boy right now. Um, sorry, Piggy. Ugh, this is gonna be heart-wrenching, isn't it? Not looking to it. Not looking forward to it. Hey guys, don't forget to come by my shop. I'll make you an axe. Oh, that was useful. Then, what do we have to axe? Get shred. Wait, not that kind of axe. Oh. Oh. Well, hey, you guys. Thanks again for helping me get my tools back. My shop isn't fully functional yet, but if you bring me the right materials, I can make you an axe of your own. Only five campboard sticks and three night pieces of night stone. Where you can find those. What? Campboard trick. Picks and Nightstone. Where am I supposed to find that? Check in there. Do I gotta go back to the hospital and talk to... What's his face? Winston? Wait. There you go. That's not where it is. It did, but okay. Wait, are you shaped, Pinky? Yep. What's up? A village prepared for Star Knight. A village's biggest yearly event. I am! Star Knight is almost here, but I have no more. You're ready! Then you have village chef, which means I'm responsible for all the Star Knight food. I prepare pancakes for the pancake eating contest. Bake another 10 pies. Flex silly berries for the silly berry juice. Hey! You can bring me 40 silly berries. Sure, I'll... But how many silly berries do I have? Fifteen. Oh boy. Welcome to Becky's Bakery! Because of Star Knight, we don't have a whole lot right now. We might need... Uh... No, okay, I'll look. Okay. I'll get everything I need here before I have to go to the next world. Because so I do hope the blacksmith would get his tools back. Gonna be around. You should come to our big Star Knight celebration. What's Star Knight? Star Knight is our world's village's biggest yearly festival. Celebrate the unity of the village and the blue star, whose light guided the first people for the Zoras forest. This year it's gonna be tough to get everything organized in time due to the biggest storm we had last week. Might want to last one. Okay. Right, so. How can we help this world's Korra? Uh, what's up? I love ha having my own art store. It allows me to be great for a living. Don't get me wrong, I love making paper lanterns for the Star Night Festival. I was just I'm right, I'm running behind and I'm afraid I won't finish them in time. Do you think you could help gather materials for me to make lanterns? I have five reeds for the paper and six fireflies for the light. Okay. Okay. Okay, so... Jeez, I have a lot I need to do. I 
I think I've done just about all I can do here. So Sue needs to get her friend back. Uh, Winston needs her wife to wake up. Isaburo needs to talk to people. Tony needs to reconnect with his family. And I guess Mom has to accept the fact that Boyd might not make it. Uh, do you need help with Ray? Now that you mentioned it, we need to have uh, might want to ask uh, Ron. Okay. I've been the other side of the forest. That's a hot break. Okay. Um. There's a lot I need to get to. Right. And you're Danielle. Hey, Dino, what's the mother of my store? I've been thinking about... That's cool. Okay. Hmm. For now, I guess I'll go back to the other world. I go sleep right now. Um, does that bring back all the, the bushes and stuff? No, it doesn't. Okay. So I need to get back to my world, see if I can change things there, and then come back to this world. But anyways, I'm pretty sure that's all the time we have for, for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. Until next time, I'll see all of you in the next video. Don't know what happened there, but whatever. Uh, bye-bye!